I just got to my campsite at Navajo Park in New Mexico and the temperature is not that bad right now but it's supposed to get like a low of 26 tonight and there's no campfires allowed at least at this campsite in this loop um, so I think at least for tonight and possibly the, it's supposed to get warmer over the next few days but at least for tonight I'm gonna need to bundle up so as promised I'm not wearing my base layers right now so I'm gonna show you my base layers that I'll be putting on as soon as I'm done filming this <laughs> So these are my silks. They are a must to wear. They're really thin, so they're easily a base layer. The top and the bottom actually are, are really thin. The gloves are kind of a medium thickness, and then the socks are more thick. Knowing what I know now, to do a trip like this, I would bring two sets of this whole thing because especially in Utah, I was essentially not taking, not changing clothes. And so I wanted, I wanted to change these, but because it can pick up some dead skin, but I needed to wear them for warmth. So it would have been nice to have a second set to change into. I don't know what the brands are, but there aren't very many companies that sell them, I found. So I just bought the best reviewed ones that I found when I did a search online. This, these two are Thermosilk. This is Terramar. I believe, and the, and the gloves and the socks are Terramar. Yeah. But I highly recommend them. Okay. Next layer is wool. I don't know what brands they are. I just got ones that were best reviewed and I know that there are different classifications for wool, merino wool, but I just did I just bought the ones that I thought suited my trip. So, I think they're kind of like midweight wool. Maybe heavy wool, I don't know. Um they're good, but I definitely prefer them with the silk underneath. And if I had to make a suggestion, I probably would have brought two of the shirts, although that's not as, um, that's not as strong a suggestion as bringing two of the silks because this doesn't touch my skin quite as much. I also have extra sets of the pants, one that's very similar and then one that's thinner. Um, so I don't wear the thinner one as much. Um, and then socks, I've got wool socks. I just brought like, I just bought ones that had good reviews online. There are tons to choose from. Um, and I have some extras of those. These I usually just wear for hiking. And with the socks, I usually wear just like a pair of ankle athletic socks in between the wool socks and the silk socks at night. I also, if I'm not wearing these because I've hiked in them, I'll wear these. Um, I think they're just polyester, but they cover the 
uh, calves, which is nice. And then this is just a, a pair of like cotton or something that similarly covers the calves. So I can alternate. Next I have my best from North Face. It's a uh, synthetic fill. It's a puffy vest, but synthetic fill. I think I have an allergy to down, which is why I have a synthetic vest and also a synthetic bag, sleeping bag. Gloves. On top of the silk gloves I have, I brought three other pair. Just a regular like cotton one, which I haven't worn yet because they're not as useful as the others. These ones have kind of a water resistant coating, but I haven't had to wear them yet. Maybe once when it was snowing in Zion, but I do wear these. Um, they just give my fingers more um, control. And they have this thing inside, which I'll show you with some of the other items, that has like a heat reflection back onto your skin. And these are from Columbia. So I usually wear these over them. So speaking of that heat resistant thing, when I was going to buy just a few more items of hiking clothing for the trip, Columbia Outlet in El Paso had a sale like buy one get one free or buy one get one half off of some of their winter stuff. So um, here's the ear warmer that I wear usually just during the day and only at night if it's really really cold because it compresses my ears a little bit. And this neck gaiter. So all of these have that kind of reflective material inside. It's, it's soft, it's not itchy or anything. I'll wear this to bed always, at least when it's cold. And so this is a Columbia hat as well, has the reflective material inside. I don't wear this one to bed because it doesn't cover my ears very well like this one does. It's from Columbia, but it doesn't have the reflective thing inside. So the way it's kind of worked out is I wear this one when I'm driving or when I'm outside and this one when I'm going to sleep because this one covers my ears and at night, but the palm part actually doesn't fit when I'm driving in the car. <laughs> it hits the ceiling. Um, so these up here. And finally, we have my kind of fleece jacket, which is looking really dirty under this light. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Pay no attention to the dirt. <laughs> this is Nike and I've had it forever. And then I have a shell that helps if it's windy or if it's drizzling. And that is my gear. So one other cold weather camping tip, when it's cold, when it's gonna be cold at night, get into these layers before you're cold before you even are thinking about getting cold because <laughs> layering up when you're still warm makes your whole night much more comfortable. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. It's actually even a little late, but I'm gonna get warmed up in these layers and then I am going to settle in for the night. See you when it's warmer. And the other thing that's nice, and I know I touched on this in the shoes vlog post, is with so many layers of socks on my feet and thick layers, the Crocs are amazing because, well, first of all, I bought them a size up, so they fit my thick foot <laughs> with all those sock layers. So at night, I don't find them actually cold to wear over, you know, other pairs of shoes. And if I have to get up in the middle of the night or when I get up in the morning and I'm not ready to take those layers off my feet, then they just fit right in the crocs. So a good pair of shoes that will fit thicker, a thicker foot if you're wearing the thicker layers. And for that matter, a larger 
set of pants to I have jeans that are a little too big for me that I'm wearing right now actually and I've got my silk layer and my wool layer underneath the jeans and the same with my black hiking pants um, they're a little too big but for the cold weather they fit these layers underneath them so that's really nice and I have a, a size that fits me and I can wear those in the warmer weather so it's good to keep all those kinds of contingencies in mind because if you have the layers but not, no clothes to fit over them on the top then they're not going to do you much good or you'll be like Ralphie in a Christmas story when he's so layered up he can't even move <laughs> I have I have freedom I'm very comfortable and so with that I think this is going to be my last cold weather camping post hope you've enjoyed it <laughs> I've certainly enjoyed sharing my misery with you